Good morning, my beautiful people. Happy Thursday, and hope that you are doing well. Um, real quick news update, because it dawned on me had it, it had been like five or six days since my last video, so just wanted to make sure that I was staying current and up to date with everybody. Um, again, hope you're doing well. It's been beautiful and chilly here in Memphis. Um, actually today is kind of cloudy because we're supposed to get rain, uh, rain later on this evening, but it's actually going to be in the mid fifties, I think. Um, so actually not that bad today. Uh, we had been having cold temperatures and we're going to get some Saturday and Sunday, but eh, it is what it is. Anyway, let's get to the news. Um, as of 8.48 this morning when I started doing my research, stock market is down 240 points. Um, seems like the issues that Credit Suisse has ha been having um, might be resolved for now. Um, they are probably going to borrow up to nearly $54 billion from Swiss National Bank, which is just sticking your finger in the dam in my opinion but I don't know that much about finances but yeah I mean by all means listen to Dan with I allegedly and um what's that other dude I forgot but I usually listen to Dan and um it's escaping me it'll get back to me I promise um if you're planning spring break, which if your mind is in the right place, hopefully you're not, um, in Southwest Florida, thousands of dead fish are um, floating on the beaches. You can't go to the beach because of the red tide. Um, that's, if I'm not mistaken, a, a once a year thing that's usually around this time. And um, yeah, there's, there's fish covering the beach, so they're not letting... I don't know how many beaches, if it's all of them, but I know Southwest Florida uh, apparently is getting hit. If it's not the only one, it's getting hit the most. Okay, this one I found interesting. Now this actually launched back in 2016, but thanks to an anonymous th th philanthropist donating $1 million and promising to get others to donate large amounts as well um there is a cia and Mossad liked surveillance system quietly being installed throughout the united states mostly schools um houses of worship and other civilian locations um it's called gabriel which yeah, isn't Gabriel a messenger? He's not actually a watcher, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Um, and they're doing it under the guise of stopping mass shootings. It was, uh, like I said, it started in 2016 because of a mass shooting in Tel Aviv and also uh, the Orlando nightclub incident. That's when it initially started. But like I said, they've been ramping it up this past year thanks to an anonymous philanthropist um let's see what else do we have china may be it's it's not set in stone yet but maybe shutting down i'm gonna butcher this xeon Z xeon Z x i apostrophe a n um uh, city which is about eight and a little over eight and a half million people um Due to, of all things, the flu, they, I think China, I mean, they've always had power over their people, supposedly, and, um, hey, if they have any reason to, to lock you down, even if it's not C-19, they said, depending on how bad the, the flu outbreaks get, they have every intention of locking down, and, in China, locking down is nothing like here because I did most of my shopping while everybody else was locked down. It was great. There was no traffic, nobody really in stores. 
I had no problems. Um, in China, when you get locked down, like you're not allowed to leave your apartment or house or whatever, like even for supplies or whatever. So when they say lockdown, they mean lockdown. Um, interesting, I just happened to pull this up. Uh, Xi'an, if I'm saying it correctly, um, it was originally the first capital of China. Didn't know that. And um, it is the resting place of those terracotta soldiers that are very famous. They, they're there in that city. So just an interesting fun fact for you. Um, also, uh, no, I'm not taking your call. Um, Biden is expected to approve an oil drilling project in Northern Alaska. Um, it's called the Willow Project, W-I-L-L-O-W, and it would create thousands of jobs and it is projected to pump out six million barrels of oil over the next 30 years. Does that sound right? I think that's right. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I wrote that down right. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's like for you to be so into climate change and all that stuff, you sure are like all of a sudden it's like, eh, Northern Alaska and we kind of need the oil. We better do this. So yeah, uh, the Biden administration, from what I understand, is really heavily looking into it and they have to... I think it said it had to they had to approve approve three of the sites i think there's five of them i'm not sure don't quote me on that look it up yourself the willow project but um they have to approve at least three of the sites for them to go ahead with it so if i'm not mistaken they're looking at the third one now i think they've already approved two i think like i said look it up anyway guys other than that yeah, I'm not going to bombard you because you can turn on any channel and they can bombard you, right, with news. Um, especially the financial thing. Like I said, I'm not really into it like that. Um, so, yeah, I am I just keep doing what I'm doing, pretty much, is what I'm doing right now. Um, in fact, I need to make another grocery store run. Um, Things are looking okay. One thing I did notice, the, the regular size four pound bags of sugar, they were out. The only thing available was the 10 pound ones and a couple of Kroger's that I went to. So um, other than that, that's about it. I do wanna make one, well, two shout outs, technically two shout outs, three really. Um, I hate long videos, but in order to get my mind off of this, a lot of times hubby and I will, in addition to Fail Army, um, will watch two particular channels that we absolutely adore and love and we've been watching them pretty much for the past year. Um, Vice Grip Garage, that man is so crazy. What is the man's, oh my God, he went out my head that fast. I don't, I don't remember the man's name, that's just sad. Derek. That's what it is. <laughs> Derek, if you ever see this, I am so sorry. But um, love Vice Grip Garage, especially his series on uh, Betty White, his 1970 white Cadillac. Oh my gosh. If he ever sells that car and I have the money, I want that car. I really, really, really want that car. Uh, so Vice Grip Garage. And uh, the Boring Channel. He has two channels. The Boring Channel and lawn lawn man joggernaut i think it's lawn man joggernaut and i forgot the man's name as well but he goes around and he actually does uh overgrown yards for free whether they're abandoned or whether they're just he's just helping somebody out that lives in the house and just can't handle it um he's amazing and it's so relaxing to just watch him cut the grass. And I'm, I'm sorry, that's just me. I have a I have an app on my phone called Just Mowing. And it's just so relaxing to cut the grass. I don't get it. And yes, I do help my husband when he cuts the grass. In fact, I'm supposed to help him today. 
if not this weekend, whenever he does the backyard. He's already done the front yard. But um, yeah, guys. Okay, I'm going to stop rambling. That's it. Love you guys. Keep prepping harder than ever now. Um, keep praying that his, his will be done, God's will be done in all this, and it will be regardless whether we pray it or not. Um, because I think we are seriously on God's timeline right now. Well, we've always been on God's timeline, but you know what I mean. Believers know exactly what I mean. Um, keep prepping, keep praying. I love you. Love each other. Love yourself. And I'll see you next time. Bye.